Welcome. This episode is going to start with an eye test. So for those of you that have got bad eyes already, I apologise. This may not be for you to start with. But there is something in this image that caught my attention when I was watching this video <laughs> probably over a year ago now. And I did have to this planned out to show people. However, things escalate and move on and you learn new things and, and you forget about that for a minute and do other things. Unfortunately, this is uh, where I'm at the minute. Where I feel I'm going around in circles. Trying to work out what's best to show people in order to in order for them to wake up really from the greatest deception upon humanity's subconscious mind but anyway if you have a look there is definitely something in this image um, that got my attention so we're gonna talk about this now so I'm gonna point out it's up here okay it's this thing right here now in this video we're gonna come back to the we're gonna come back to this thing up here so if you don't see it don't worry you're gonna get an opportunity in a second because I've got it in the editor and it's all through full zoomed in for you to see so you know that I'm not just this is not pareidolia this is not making things up so in this video it's about this tree that fell over and on this tree uh, the roots so to speak, don't actually conform to what we've been told. You know? It's very strange. The features with, on this tree. And they they even highlighted it with this blue rope. And it looks like these faces. Right? So there's an eye there, nose there, mouth, big chin, big head, you know, chin there. And this is a completely different topic, obviously, and I've done this on my face life theory, but I thought I'd bring it back up a little, because it's relevant. You know, the face there, eye there, eye there, nose, mouth. And they highlighted it in this tree. The archaeologists, because they found something underneath it, right? Which you look here, you've got a wall, looks like a wall of some kind. So this tree has been, been there a while, to say the least. But there's no roots. <laughs> it's strange, right? So, to the editor. There it is. Now we'll zoom out again. Oh, sorry. There. Right here, the head. You can see an arm coming down. The leg. Zoom down a bit. This is full zoom, by the way. Of course, you're going to get. And the leg coming down off this branch arm there, there's a hand there. So what is this thing that's in this video? Uh, just, you know, randomly in it. I'll leave it in the link so you can watch the video as well. So I'll promote these channels for you. But look, it's just a, a random, it's just a clip of, of someone filming down this, you know, the middle of nowhere of these trees. And they didn't. They probably didn't know they captured that at all. And you think, where is it? It's, it's hard to spot, isn't it? I mean, I have to find it again now. It's in this area anyway. So, next one. This man. These two videos I have done before, but I thought I'd do them again. Because I've learned new things and uh, and I can show you it better. So he drops a camera down this hole. And again, I'll leave the links up so you can look for yourself. And essentially, you know, he moves the camera around. Shows you it's not a long. It's been edited, which it makes. We wonder about things and we're going to go through a scene in a second which involves this thing this blue creature here as well and the thing it's holding this wolf 
as well as some some evidence that shows that there's intelligence in this video that mo that you can't see with your eyes but the film captured and it's of, and it's spiritual but it's beyond that it's it's crazy <laughs> what i'm going to show you now is crazy so if you can see the being now, right? I'm gonna zoom out, full out. So there's the image. It's the same, just downloaded the same clip. It's a bit too far out, but can you see? It's just sat on top of the tree there. I can rewind it a little bit. So it comes in further away I'll zoom in again just so you see I'm not it's not pareidolia I noticed it when I watched the video and this is kind of what I do <laughs> I notice things that most people do not in their videos and he's just sat on the branch this is real this is a real footage captured by someone and it's you know tuck for the film just to put some trees in there, you know? And in it is this thing set on a branch. You know? <laughs> anyway. Kind of, kind of goes to show, right? That uh, we don't really know the things that are walking on the earth. And the thing I'm gonna, I've just showed you then, the that weird thing holding that extinct type of wolf creature is another example so when i showed you that book with all the you know uh, drawings of all the animals that once walked the earth in a different time let's say you know time of the giants and man um and aliens you know it, it is begs the question that those did these things really exist and the answer is absolutely they did you know they did so you got this alien head there like turned to stone that's you know the eye eye mouth anyway so this watch this sequence he drops I'll, I'll put I'll put the uh, links in the description for the video so you can watch it all so he drops the camera down in fact we can just go for it quickly so you see as you see he drops the camera down and then he drops it down and then there's a there's, He's, at it, he's edited this video and added this bit in and then it carries on because the bit I'm showing you before this bit the camera is moving and all of a sudden it just cuts to this all right this bit what I'm showing you now the other thing why I wanted to bring this up was because I want to talk about geology and if you're not familiar with understanding uh, life and how it was within the ancient past so you see the thing behind that's this all this stuff. Well, this is this is life. You know what I mean? On a large scale, turned to stone, or not so turned to stone in this case. It's jellified. It's just different processes, right? So yeah, there's there's a clip I'm gonna go through in a minute, before just before this. And that's that, right? So it's a small clip. That's been edited. For sure. So which way are we going? This way. Nope. Go away. Look at these things. Look. You know? What are really these? What are these really? Part of animals. So I'm going to have to go frame by frame. But I'll skip to the interesting part. I'm just showing you it's been dragged along. Now, I think it's there. Notice this bit here. It's, I think it's next bit. Hold on. Yes, here. So here, in the middle, 
it looks like there's this like humanoid shadow to start with it comes into focus now like there and it stays like that for a while and then there's like a couple of others like that and you might go all right okay but the thing that comes up after in a minute is is a you know it's not a, an effect that the camera's making it's something that is used to be real and the size of the humans that once walked the earth tiny ones in fact so you can still see it's blurry there but it's still it's still there and then it goes out of focus but it creates this like purple energy let's just zoom out a minute still too close and look there's this thing look, as well this light beaming up just shooting up that way for no reason okay I'm going this way Essentially, this starts to form, right? Yeah. And it turns into a, a, a being. So if we look now, it, this just appears, you know? And it, and, it, and it does move. You can see it looks like a. It's got a face. And then it moves this way and the camera moves this way but while it does that zoom out again you capture something else right and it gives you a glimpse about you know what this really was about zoom out a little bit more so you see how the camera's turning away from it here humanoid figure so I saw the humanoid shadow and then this humanoid figure comes up out of it like this spirit um, yeah and then I saw this straight after as it's turning just notice this right now boom Let's zoom out a minute zoom in a minute little this just like a spiritual manifestation of a building so like they're like yeah all right maybe a building once stood here or something you know or rubble see how it just forms though it's turning the camera's turning that starts to form and all of a sudden the next one is a boom I mean, I can't explain that phenomenon, really. That's why I had to show you, because... Look, it's just like a ghostly apparition of a building. That's mad, you know? It's, it's mad. And it's kind of swirling energy. This thing. What's this? You know? What's that thing? You know? You saw the swirling energy. And then like this thing shoots off it. Yeah, that's definitely not that's not the camera effect doing it. 100 percent This is spiritual. Um and we can't see this with the eye, but the camera can capture it for sure. Which it has. Right. And that thing's gone now. Just... Like it gets stuck on a on a branch on a tree. This one. Oh no, I don't. It just it's, it stays like that, like it's being dragged. And then the next cut, next scene, is this. 
it's highly it's been edited for sure but this is even more like what the hell you know what i mean when you when you get into this you know you gotta ask yourself what the we have no idea what walks the earth and what is beneath us look at this look if i know i said at the start right that <laughs> this is hard it's gonna be hard for blind people but this is definitely going to be just as hard for people that can see. Absolutely fine. They would just outright and go and go, I know what I can see. But I don't want to admit that. I, or <laughs> it has no bearing upon anything of my life. Whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, so what? It, who cares? That's real, yeah. And it moves. It does move. It, ca it captures it and it moves. So we'll show you in a sec. But you see... This wolf thing it's holding in his hand. Sorry, this I don't know. Do you see it? Here. Eye. Snout. Mouth. Coming in. Drooping body. And this thing, blue thing, is just holding it. And you see his hand move in a second. Right, let's zoom out. But there, look at this stuff. It's life. There's a bit at the end of the video where it shows you literally like intestines and stuff. And you know, some of the documentaries you, you'll hear, yeah, and you've probably heard it already, but you won't recognize it. They always say stuff like, oh, welcome to the belly of the beast when they go into certain caves and stuff. Because they know it's a belly of a beast, right? And they know veins are literal veins. They follow the veins to get to the gold and... This has to do with understanding how transitional metals in, in the bodies of living organisms work under pressures. I do believe uh, under certain, you know, conditions, let's call it. But you clearly see this thing alive. Oops. It's not alive, sorry. So I'm skipping forward. It's been edited at this point, or this has been added, you know. Nothing happens for a while, but it, it does move. It does move its arm. I can just play it. So the camera moves and then it moves. Do you see that? Oh man, there we go. So his arm his arm moves. Just once. Twice. So I think this thing was alive at one point and it's frozen and whatever has gone on this is being disturbed or it's it look it's literally it's aware of the camera it's, it's killed this wolf thing and it's just waiting you know to see what happens it's alive it's, you know, it's gingerly moving but it looks you know people got ice blue might be frozen but this thing looks like it's got hair, it looks like a yeti. It, it's, it's got some kind of clothes on. I mean, it's, it's a weird creature. This is a, one of the weirdest things you're ever going to see, probably. One of them. For sure. Look at it. What is it? See its arm move? Blue. It's got a big head. I can't really look at the facial features. Let's zoom in a little bit more. So close we can get it. I mean, yeah, you can see a big eye there. That's an eye, right? See what looks like a grey alien around him. See that? Eye, eye, baby grey alien. Maybe that's like a neck thing. I don't know. 
We can clearly say that's a creature. And you make you wonder why did matey stop the video? Posted, posted, <laughs> didn't post the the original as it is. Edit it in, adding this into the into the uh, the copy. You know, he must have saw this to add it in, and he just thought, I've got to put it in. Got to. That's just nuts. And then it heads back in straight into the straight into the footage of it being moved, manipulated. Let's move forward a minute. Near the end. There. Uh, whoop, too far. I mean, if you slow down the image, there's probably a lot of things you you, you miss, right? Just from going frame to frame, because we can't see it like that quickly, and we don't. But as I've just shown you, and I saw then that I, I could have gone back, or we're going that way anyway. Um, we capture things when we look at it frame by frame that we can't see with our eyes. So when the camera's gonna go back up the hole in a sec. Oh wanna look at this. Looks like a sword. Shimitar or something. So I mean this look. There's a better image of it. It's definitely got colour, that's for sure. Don't know, it's going off the frame. Zoom out. So this approaches um, a lot of topics. Geology, too close, too far away now. And then getting into well, oh, I've labelled face life theory. Which is what is life made up of? And how does it work? How does that involve water, frequencies, you know, sound? I mean, that. A lot of this stuff here, this like black stuff, is blood. Congealed blood turns to iron. Because we've got iron in our blood, right? That's why I said it's important to understand about transitional metals and what happens to them <clears throat> in certain circumstances. Such as petrification. It's a mouse, look, see that? See what I'm saying, look? It's this mouse. Is that alive or dead? You know? I see stuff all the time. I just thought, that's, that don't look right, mouse. And there's something here. Clear as day. That's like a sword. You know, that's definitely a sword of some kind. Tip of a blade. Just laying there, look. It's definitely some kind of blade. And you got a little mouse next to it. A little mousey. It's amazing what you can see when you just slow things down, isn't it? Okay, like the ghost of this alien there. Oh, that's weird. He's pulling it up. gone too far there's a bit where you see it looks like intestines
Need to say his camera gets very dirty. Do you see that at the end? All right? Let me wind it. This light, all right? That's not the camera doing that, that's an entity, all right? Watch. Oh. It's an entity. Watch. There's entities everywhere in these images. <laughs> look at it. That's an look, that's an entity. That's amazing. Look at the figure. Clearly see, look, it's standing on one knee, one knee up front, leg, it's got long hair. Clear as day, amazing, you know what I mean? And I'm showing you this for the first time. Honestly, I mean like like a, a couple of them. But I knew there'd be more things to show in and if you're patient and you've just saw that just like I have, a female as well. It looks like it's got breasts. Apparition, right? Because we can see these things, but... Well, we can capture these things. We can't see them as well if, we, if, if we're tuned to it. But that, they, these beings have got a massive story to tell in, the, in this bunk, in this air, you know, undiscovered place. What what secrets lay in there? And I, I believe I found a sword and a rat or a mouse, whatever you want to call it. But that's amazing. Look, female apparition just appears from nowhere, and it comes from nowhere as well. Watch. So one frame, two frame, three frame. You got this light coming in. You've got this thing coming down there. Oh, come stop moving it. And then the next frame is coming up. Boom. It's still growing. Right there. Boom. Disappeared. Just like that. Gone. And at the same time, there's another thing going on down there. So there's another energy entity coming in down there. Boom. Going across. One going across. Same time, this one's come up. That's amazing. That's incredible. I mean, the 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 the, <laughs> the world and life itself is mysterious, and to think people know it is ridiculous. You know, it is utter ridiculous to think that people know this world. We've hardly explored any of it, really. Just rebuilt Babylon and unfortunately for the Western civilization. Just dug out and claimed it was our own. Here again. Here we go. I mean that was incredible. I'm just gonna go back down one more time. What was that? I don't know. Alright, it might have been too far. Do you see that as well? Coming down. White orb going across. You see it there. Comes in there. Shoots across. Chest there, look. Is that a chest? Oh, okay. Huh. It's clearly something there as well. I mean, mate, he needs to get down there. It's jackpot down there. Archaeological dream. Never mind. Look at these things. Look like. These things look like wood. Like there used to be a bridge or something here. Maybe. For the mud floods. You got this thing trying to manifest down here as well. Let me zoom in. Oi. 
go and you capture the energies. Look, that looks like it's got a stick in his hand. Carrying a weapon, look. Staff, look. Snake staff. It's clear as day. Snake staff. Huh. Who would have thought I'd capture all this? Well, mate, someone did. You might go, yeah, that's just pareidolia, but that's a snake staff. Clear. Let's say, look, this face looks like an owl. Right there. So let's just try and find the bit I was finding. See these things here look like tree stumps. So we take a look at these things. Oh, look at this. Some crazy energy going on down there, man. Look at that. That's just... Look at this thing. <laughs> what is that? you got this energy thing coming off here. Flying off. And this. Again, look. The spiral. The spiral. Trying to manifest. Alright, zoom out a little bit more. Nuts. Look. You think that's the light doing that? Nah. There, one frame that gone the next. It's a halo thing. I see a face. But I always see faces, so. captured this whether that's a drop that might actually be a raindrop pretty cool though So what do you think this thing is? I'm just going to go back. Show you that from the start, I was telling you the truth. That this being in front of us was an alien. Giant alien. Mouth, eye, head. This has landed on him, I presume. Yeah. Don't think we're, most people are ever going <laughs> to truly understand the ancient past. Particularly when they think everything alien is demonic. Let's face it, it's not. It's just a temple. Looks very sad, that alien. Boom. See the shadow? This thing. Hum tiny humanoid shadow. Alright. And it turns. Looks at the camera. Stays there, another frame. Stays there, another frame. Stays there, another frame. This thing appears in another shadow. This light comes boom straight up there, right? Or down. Wait a minute. Yeah, it shoots off. That comes down. That light comes down. I'm going forward. Shadow changes. Wait a minute. There you go. This is shadow air. You can still see it. 
There's apparitions here look. as well. Another one, there's two of them. Can you see that? Can you see it now? This one, in the middle. I didn't show you the first time. You always see new things when you look at it. It's just stood there in the middle. Right there. Look. Shadow Man. Little tiny Shadow Man. How mad's that? There's probably loads of other things that you don't see that are there, really. So let's keep moving forward. It moves. It kind of looks like it went dashes this way. You see this effect here? It's a lot. Watch, ready? Kind of looks like it moves. Although the camera, I know the camera's moving. Starts to turn. This thing appears now. This light. And it comes in shape of a person as well over there. Like look, look like it looks like it's running. You can see its leg, knee up. And I'll zoom in on that one. Hold on. See it? Foot, knee up, kind of like looking that way. Sort of looking to semi towards us. I hope the people what that watch this have got the eyes to see what I can see. You know, it's not easy. I've been on a bit of a downer really about these things because it's like this this type of stuff, albeit it's it's alright, and all the other stuff I've, I've tried to do, it's, none of it's really important because the people still today are cheap. They're not learning that the, the media is not their friend and never will be. You know? George Floyd stuff, man. It drives me up the wall. They don't even think. This like this completely like logical thought and, and anything else just goes out the window. It's like reptilian brain activated. Poof. See it's running this way now. And you see this blue light as well coming in this blue stuff and then this sort of like collapsed building and then it goes into boom it's just <laughs> I've never seen anything like it ever you know this is all new spiritual stuff for me look at this mask it looks like a, an alien head Breathing out this blue stuff coming out of his mouth. That, you know, that eye there, his head's there, his nose is there, and, and this stuff's coming out of his mouth. Do you see that? And then you got this thing up here. <clears throat> Sorry, spirits, please. This got, uh, um, this you know what I mean it's building you can use the archways I mean that's just detail man and it blurs out disappears you know there's a lot going on in these shots you got this orb over here Let's go back a couple. Let's go back to this one. You've got this beam of light, beam of energy coming in. And then it blurs out this complete section. And this looks like a face. Right, let me zoom in. This is amazing. I can see it already. And if you can't see it, you're you're crazy. Look. Alien being, clear as day, mouth, no, eye, eye. It's clear as day face in the mist, in this blue mist. Do you see it? The stuff's wicked. I do this look look at this stuff for hours. Never be uh Well as you as I as you find it out, continually being surprised. 
but what you see. And it sort of like goes into like this mist stuff. This orb comes off. It just comes out of nowhere. One frame, boom. Then you got this black stuff coming in. This energy. And then this thing's created. But you got all this blur and energy coming all around this area. I'm like, you'll go, yeah, but the camera's moving. And it's just trickery of the light. But I, I think I've kind of proven that it's not campy. Not all of it. When you've got clear shots and it's not blurry. And you can still see things. And it's frame after frame after frame. As I showed you there. But yeah, there you go. That's, 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 you know. That's it, really. It goes into this bit. See, it looks like an eye there, nose, mouth, giant head. And to this. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this thing. I have to find it again. There, this thing in the tree. <laughs> I know it's hard to see. And they might, well there's one, it's gonna be more. Where is it? That's what I mean, I'm struggling. There it is, right there. Arm, you can see it's sat on a branch, knee down. Head. Looks reptilian. Share, like, and subscribe.